Hi guys! Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I want to give a big, big shout out and a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Gang, gang, I love yous. Welcome to the Soul Tribe. I don't comment on all the comments because there was a lot of comments and I didn't want to leave anybody out. So I read every single comment. So thank you. I appreciate it. Let's dive in. Let's see what's going on for my late night people. It is. It's like witching hour. It's three in the morning, guys, as I'm filming this. This is a pre-recorded reading. So I hope that you have a beautiful night, day, wherever, whenever you are watching this. Okay, these are timeless, general, and collective readings. So they may or may not resonate from start to finish. Please put yourself where you belong. You know your story best. I'm just the messenger. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink. Do whatever you need to do because we're diving right in. So star seed light workers, indigo children, legged ones, whatever you choose to call yourself, divine feminine, divine masculine. Let's see what's going on for you. So ancestors, let's get two cards. So we have earth school, life lessons, soul growth, studying, and higher learning. You are learning something new and somebody's learning something about you. They're learning that you are on a path, deep cellular healing. You are on a path of deep cellular healing, physical and emotional healing. The bottom of the deck is perspective. Now, you're going to have to go out to see a third, three, third person perspective on a situation because none of this matters. You got to zoom out and find common ground. You are learning something new. Whatever you're going through, whatever feels like it's too heavy, like you can't control the outcome, it's not for you. You're not supposed to control it. The only thing you can control is yourself. And right now, that's what you're doing. Deep physical and emotional healing. Remember, we're hitting those solar flares. They're on like a whole other level. And we're feeling it. That's why you see the aurora borealis. That's why you're feeling in these um, ascension symptoms, okay? You could feel like you have um, a cold or something. I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying not to go see a doctor. I'm saying it could be ascension symptoms. Ancestors, let's get the rebel cards. Okay, so we have the word wants to be written. See, you have to be able to heal. So then we can go to the core of our issues so that this way we're not bleeding onto others. We can actually heal that core issue. And that's what you're doing. You're speaking your life into existence. Your shadow is the parts of you that were shunned, that were, that were not allowed to be. Now you are integrating that shadow part into your life because you have no shame. See, you have a legacy of light. You know where you came from. You know where you're going. Bottom of the deck, it's release the darkness and let love live. You see what I mean? Perspective. Whatever you're going through, it's irrelevant. You need to release those dark wounds that lie inside of you so you can let love live. Okay? Because the word wants to be written. Somebody wants to tell you something. You want to tell something about something. But you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to study. You're going to have to understand that you know nothing. Temperance, angel, knight of, well, oh, prince of swords. So somebody is watching you, okay? They can't lie. They can't cheat. They can't be deceptive. But they are watching you, temperance, angel. They're seeing you bring balance to the situation, to a situation. Ancestors, let's get eight cards. So I need seven more. We have the eight of swords. Yeah, there's that Prince of Swords. I knew he was going to come out. The Moon. The Justice. Underneath the Temperance Angel. The Ace of Wands. Underneath the Eight of Swords. The Two of Cups. Underneath that Page of Swords. See, that's why somebody's watching you. They want to bring balance to a relationship or they see you bringing balance to your relationship or to your masculine, feminine in general, knight of cups. I mean, king of cups. No, somebody loves you, but they're keeping their feelings in the dark. Bottom of the deck is the three of wands, but you're waiting for something. Something is about to just come in. What's the heart of the deck? It's the four of wands. All right. So something's coming in and it's stability, structure, foundation. There is a lot in the dark, especially about this King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. You have Pisces on the board. You have Libra. 
you have Taurus, and you have Aries. Okay, so if that makes any sense. Oh, and Pisces, if I already said that. <coughs> these could be your signs. These could be somebody else's. I don't like to read the signs because we have so many in our birth chart. It kind of gets shit a little bit twisted and confusing, but whatever. Anyways, you're the temperance angel, okay? So you're bringing balance to some kind of situation by assessing what is yours and what is not yours to carry. Now, somebody's in a mental entrapment, purgatory, prison of the mind. It could be on drugs, but they have a lot of passion for you. This is probably why somebody's keeping their feelings in the dark. And they're just choosing to spy on you. Even though you may have this two of cups with this person, somebody is in a mental entrapment. I really feel it's drugs. They see you as balanced, equilibrium. You don't have any distortions, anything that's dragging you down. But this person does, or people, take it as it resonates. So you're waiting for what's yours. You're eliminating the people, places, and things that are not being honest. Now, there could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who's putting a lot in the dark right now, especially when it comes to an addiction. They could be feeding into somebody's addiction, and that somebody is watching you. Very heartbroken, looking at you as a two of cups, equilibrium. It's like they know that you are balanced and that you can bring something to the team like or relationship. Take it as it resonates, okay? So they're watching you, but they're watching you in this, trapped feeling and they're trapped because of the passion that they have for you the drive the inspiration that you have and the fact that you encourage others to stand up for themselves as well to look at things in a different perspective to learn their life lessons somebody wants to learn a life lesson but in order to do what they want to do go forward and let go of some kind of addictions could be drugs sex violence whatever they're keeping in the dark that's keeping them like they think that it's okay it's not a big deal but if their soul is okay think of it this way alcohol okay they call it spirit because it literally one drink one drink like okay we'll say three drinks okay but whatever it is the, they call it spirit because it takes your soul so it literally takes four days for your spirit to come back to your body after drinking alcohol, spirit, okay? And somebody could be doing even harder drugs than that. Or they could be addicted to sex with that ace of wands. That's what's keeping them in their head. Whatever it is, they have a lot of passion for it. But they, at the same time, they have a lot of passion for you, my beautiful collective. So they're like watching you high, <laughs> crying. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Ancestors, let's clarify this because it's, it's the Empress. Yeah. Okay. So Empress, everything you touch turns to gold. They're watching you. Got that Midas touch. Okay. You're bringing balance to a situation because you're walking justice, your karma. Now, whoever has done you dirty is in a mental entrapment. They wanted you to be in a mental entrapment, but you brought justice to the equation, three of pentacles. And somebody wants to work with you. It's like you chose to put your head down, do the work that you needed to do, especially when it came to your inner healing, because you cannot heal another unless you heal yourself. And we're all healers, guys. We can all do this, but it's just about changing your perspective. Somebody didn't want to see you for who you were, and they most definitely did not want to work with you. But that didn't mean that you were working by yourself. You're working with 10,000 ancestors because they, they stand beside you every single day that's why somebody is in a mental entrapment because they wanted you to be in purgatory chariot but you choose to move forward now somebody is choosing to move forward <sighs> when a warrior gets on their knees the war has just begun okay ace of wands somebody has gotten on their motherfucking knees because they didn't want to be in the situation that they're in anymore. Somebody sees you as encouragement. They are using you as inspiration to move forward towards their passions, their dreams. Now you have fucking planted the seed. You're watching it grow. You're getting a brand new message. Ten of Pentacles. Strength. You're getting a brand new message about somebody losing everything. Okay, it could be a family. It could be a loved one. It could be a friend or a corporation. These people have tried to take from you with this Ace of Wands, okay? You had a lot of passion, a lot of passion, a lot of encouragement, and you might have had a gift. But this Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody tried to take your legacy, but you were still you still managed to overcome your own inner demons, okay? Now, there could be an external energy 
that wanted somebody to be broke, busted, and disgusted. Even if they had a lot of passion, somebody kept them blinded with egotism, whatever that is, okay? Like I said, some kind of addiction. My nose is really itchy, so that must be the truth, okay? You were able to fight through this. Maybe somebody wanted you to go backwards because of your passion, because of some kind of drive. Maybe somebody has like, um, you know, that big dick energy, seven of swords, but they're a liar. This is why you had to have the strength to walk away. You know that somebody was stuck in a mental entrapment. They would not heal emotionally or mentally or physically or spiritually, and they were going to bleed on you, and that's what they did. Now, there is a broken foundation, lack of legacy, and you were able to power through this. You are a generational curse breaker. Like I said, when the warrior gets on their knees, the war has just begun. Seven of Swords. You know somebody is spying on you, and they may be lying to themselves that there is not a problem here two of cups but every time they look at you they know there's a problem because they are not fulfilled when you are temperance angel you see what i mean there's a reconciliation within yourself never mind the external people are doing what they need to do when they need to do it how they need to do it and so are you and you're bringing balance to the equation because you really your your word needs to be written there's a legacy of light now a lot of people seeing you have a lot of passion a lot of gifts a lot of inspiration maybe very creative but they try to block this from you. You brought balance. Why? Because you are the empress. And there's a lot in the dark. A lot in the dark. It could be a cancer trying to stir the pot in some kind of way so that this way it's two big, big personalities going up against each other. Because I'm not going to say egos because, you know, we all have ego and it's very healthy to have like an ego, right? But it's not to take advantage of people, to hurt people, to feel like you're better than somebody. No, that's why I'm saying big personalities. Okay, you have a big personality and somebody else does as well. So then it's clash of this personalities. And it's because of this cancer who's in the middle. Somebody has a lot of love for you, but they're being drowned by some kind of addictions, whatever that addiction is, or even magic. Maybe somebody was stuck in an illusion because of magic, which kept them isolated lying to themselves nine of swords Ooh, somebody is in a lot of turmoil right now they can't eat they can't sleep the reason why i'm up is because i fell asleep so early so early like i cooked supper i made a spaghetti for the boys with garlic bread and stuff and i passed right out like right out somebody can't sleep though they're having a hard time to eat and it's because of this love somebody wants to come towards you but you are not accepting this person, these friends, these family members, because you see them. You see what they chose to do to you, and they and you see um, what the addictions ho they hold. This is probably why a lot of people are avoiding you right now. It's the Ten of Swords because of the rock bottom energy that they're facing right now. Okay, somebody um, puts you on a on a high pedestal, so they. They respect the way you look at them and they don't want you to look at them right now because you're going to see right through them. You're going to see they're addicted to something. You're going to see they're at this rock bottom energy. Somebody could have a lot of money. They could be, you know, taking care of themselves. People could look on the outside like this person is put together, but in the inside, they're not. They're not at all. Four of Wands is the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody sees you as single, self-sufficient, independent. You may be single, but you're not available. You have something coming in. And somebody wants to come in and introduce themselves. It's somebody new. Three of wands. Four of wands. Do you see what I mean? Something's coming in. A marriage, a celebration. Something to be celebratory about. It's the six of pentacles because it's equal give and take. But listen, there could have been external energies, friends, family, acquaintances, even a lover, take it as it resonates, who may have taken from you and given to somebody else because they were intimidated by your big personality, as I said earlier. But you're still getting it because what you put out, you get back. It's about the investments, guys. You chose to invest properly. And as the empress, you're bringing balance to the equation. You have this deep cellular healing, so do not give up. Whatever turmoil you had went through, it gave you these life lessons. Now you are releasing the wounds so you can let love live. 
You have a legacy that wants to be born. And it's time to speak that into existence. Never mind what everybody wants. Never mind what everybody else is doing. It's time to change that perspective. None of it matters. Zoom out and find common ground. Okay? Don't judge somebody because of their transgressions. Just understand that people can change. But it's about actions, not words. And judgment. You see what I mean? Don't be like them. Don't judge. Okay? Somebody did. They judged you. It says, in the past, I was making choices in a careless or superficial way. And now I feel the higher duty and everything I do must have a deep meaning. Now, you, my beautiful empress or emperor, take it as it resonates. Flip the rules. I read for both energies. You know this. You have went through a lot. A lot of your past choices were a little bit careless, a little bit superficial. This is why you were able to learn from your experiences. And now you move with meaning. So if it ain't got depth, you ain't dealing with it. And you've been on your knees so many times praying. You are a prayer warrior. And now uh, I think you put somebody else on their knees as well. It's the page of cups. Like I just said, somebody's coming in with an apology or admiration. Take it as it resonates. Could be a secret admirer. Could be somebody you already know. But the three of pentacles with the justice means that they want to come in to work with you or the fact that you are still able to work by yourself, turning your talents into a profession and a profit as well. It says, since I met you, I started receiving creative ideas to start new projects and I can't wait to share them with you. Somebody wants to come in to share their creations with you because you're the one who inspired them, drove them to get out of some addictions, to get out of some codependencies, to get out of a uh, trapped feeling of what other people want for them. You have given the courage and mm, the drive to somebody to really get out, do something different with themselves. Now, a lot of people could be starting businesses on your fucking name, but not actually giving you any credit. And that's why ancestors are protecting you and guiding you and helping you to keep pushing forward. Because the Eight of Swords, a lot of people wanted you to be blindfolded, wanted you to be in a mental entrapment and feel like you weren't good enough. A lot of people to feel like they're not good enough, but it's the fact that they don't feel good enough. You still power through it, through all adversities. And it's the tower. It's causing a major tower to these people in their lives. It says, I keep delaying leaving my comfort zone of bad habits, but now all have fallen apart and I'm forced to face the pain in a rough way. Didn't I say that? Somebody is. They're forced... They, they went on their knees, they, 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 they fell to their fucking knees and they're praying for forgiveness, they're praying for a way out. You have gotten to this point at one place or another. That's why we shouldn't judge anybody. A lot of people have bad habits. Fuck, we have bad habits at one way or another, but we had to fall apart. We had to figure out a way, that Ten of Swords, that rock bottom energy, right? Somebody's powering through this. They're facing their pain, you have faced your pain, you found the strength, you got this brand new opportunity, but your family, your corporation, a group, a community, or a coven, take it as it resonates, very dark energies with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, don't want you to keep pushing forward. So they're going to continuously keep lying and spying because you're the Empress. Somebody is fucking terrified of you. They have never, ever, ever in their life had real compassion, real love, nothing. They've only had that um, conditional love, you know. I'll love you if the conditions, right? Yeah, somebody doesn't know true unconditional love. And unconditional love is not just for women and children, guys, okay? So, I am so deprived of feminine touch in my life to feel safe and nurtured. I'm no longer afraid of this and I'm ready to embrace it. Somebody wants to embrace you, but they know your family has been up against you, lying on you, spying on you, trying to make sure that whatever you got coming in blocks. And it could even be with magic. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, take it as it resonates. It's the Six of Wands, but you're still powering through, getting the victory no matter what. These people need to go take several motherfucking seats. Every time we get past an argument and I get on the same page, I feel on top of the world and I succeed in all I do. This is why people are lying. Either lying to an external energy that has a lot of love for you or lying to you about this external energy that you have a lot of love for. Take it as it resonates, new, past, whatever. Somebody didn't take the time. To really think logically, why are these people trying to drag me into their arguments? Why are they saying all these things about this person? And somebody is realizing that it's because of your success. Because of everything you do, 
everything you touch turns to gold. Now, there could be even a mother figure that is up against you, a mother, a baby mama, a stepmother, um, a mother-in-law, or a guy in a bitch-ass energy. Take it as it resonates. But at the end of the day, somebody has been lying about you because of the victory that you have. Somebody has watched you throughout the years, start all back over again, and succeed at starting all back over again. Temperance angel, because you are the temperance angel, six of pentacles, and you're going to get what you give out. It says, I am grateful for everything that you give me, and I'm and I want to give back 10 times more. The scales will be balanced soon. That's the temperance angel with the two of cups. The scales will be balanced. Somebody is so grateful for everything that you have given them. Maybe you didn't have much money to give them, but you gave them what you could. Maybe you installed hope, faith, love, excitement, drive. These are things that cannot be bought. And not many people want to encourage you into doing these things, to have these things, because then they will feel less than you. You see, this is why people don't encourage people to be better, because they are insecure and scared that they are going to be better than them like Tupac said I'm just because we're not friends does not mean I do not want to see you eat I just don't want you I don't just don't want you to eat at my table that's it that's all and somebody's so fucking grateful and they want to balance the scale out it's coming soon guys ancestors said this scale is coming soon balance is coming soon you have a legacy of light something wants to be birthed Wants to be creative, but you got to change this perspective. Zoom outwards because somebody is getting out of this illusion, out of this fog, out of this trapped feeling of isolation and, and holding all their fucking feelings in, guys. Yeah, it's the Eight of Cups. Walking the fuck away. Sometimes you have to walk away for somebody to feel it. Says, I don't know how to deal with my intense emotions, so I walk away and try to distract myself with other things. So somebody did. Instead of, like, you walked away from somebody, but instead of distracting yourself with other things, you did the deep cellular healing. You understood that earth was a school, so you learned a lesson from the situation, and you start speaking out so that you can release the dark wounds that this energy carried, and you can let love live. Now, but somebody else allow distractions to get in their way, sex, drugs, friends, family, work, whatever that is. And it's put them on a rock bottom energy. Somebody does love you, but they're hiding that love. They're sitting, a, I don't know, it's like at night if they feel it the most. In the shower, they feel the most because I see the water there. It's like whenever somebody touches the water, sees the water, sees the moon, like these certain things, I guess because the moon and the water, right, the moon, uh, controls the water so every time the moon is out somebody is very emotional and they there could be somebody around them that knows that the moon is very much connected to you or to the both of you or something so they do a lot of moon rituals to try to block you to get this passion to go away but somebody's passion will never go away they just keep getting sadder and sadder but on the outside they look fine it's the page of pentacles Somebody needs to fucking start all back over again. It says, you inspire me so much to create new projects and manifest all that my all of my desires. I'm able to be able to provide for you financially. Now, if somebody wants to provide for you and be there for you, that's fine. An ace of uh, page of cups, page of pentacles. But somebody needs to get rid of their addictions or the leeches around them because clearly they're not going to have anything to give to you if they're feeding this toxic energy around them, these leeches or an addiction. If you're addicted, you're going to pick that one addiction over everything. And that's what somebody is waking up. They realize that they picked one thing over the one thing that meant the most to them, which was this balancing with this empress. Take it as it resonates, guys. Or just finding that empress within themselves. Nurture. Being your best friend. Maybe somebody didn't have good mother, you know, a support system. Shit, I didn't. But that didn't mean that I, I hurt other people. No, we just find solutions. You know, my parents, they should have said something when I had, um, you know, a, a boyfriend who was 20 years my senior, but they didn't. They didn't at all. Not, not at all because, well, what they said to me is you're going to do it anyways. Like, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. But it's only because they don't care. They don't care. So people are, are only going to encourage you. Oh, look, my hamster. Where'd he go? Oh, 
I got a free range hamster. Okay, guys. <laughs> I have a free range hamster. So he just he just passed in my kitchen. My puppy doesn't eat them. They're so good. <laughs> I got good puppies. Hierophant. Somebody wants to get in a relationship with you. They see you single, self-sufficient, independent. They know you're walking away. And they know that you are inspiring people. Because you inspire yourself. And if people are not willing to see and create a life for themselves and provide for themselves without, you know, needing anybody, then great. But it says, I have a lot of respect for the elders and I follow the advice without question. I also follow traditions, even if it's outdated. Oh, see, that's the thing. Somebody wants you to follow traditions. They want you to do what they want. They want you to stay in this patriotic system. With outdated belief systems. I uh, do as I say, not as I do kind of energy. And you're not fucking dealing with this. Because look at what happened. Look what put some... This put somebody in this situation. You're rebelling. Nine of swords. Yeah, you're rebelling. It says, I once start... Once I start to focus on problems, it's hard to stop. And then I get paranoid. That it will get even worse. Falling into anxiety. See, somebody's manifesting a very fucked up situation for themselves. Because they're not looking at what could happen, the good, but what bad could happen. And at the end of the day, you don't deal with this. This is why you have to heal. Look at things in a diff different perspective because none of it matters. And don't judge people, guys, because the more you judge, the more you're going to fall back into that same pattern. Four of Wands. You did what you needed to do. You gave when you could. You And you said when you couldn't. It is what it is. You gave a hard yes or a hard fucking pass. Either one. But you're still bringing balance the world and you're about to see the world you're about to connect with the world it says all my life i was trying to fill a void inside of me by doing more but now that i found myself i feel complete and see extras as blessings the magician you have all the tools in your toolbox somebody is trying to manifest you but it's only because of the respect that they have for you they see you as an elder now doesn't matter how old you are how young you are it doesn't matter elder comes with knowledge and this is what you have, the knowledge. And you want people to have a, a better life for themselves, to go inwards, to fill the void so they don't have to keep distracting themselves. Somebody is waking up. And it says, I'm starting to notice all sorts and signs and coincidences and realize that, realize my own power in creating them. I'm working to manifest you. So somebody is realizing that they manifested this mess for themselves whatever mess they're in right now they manifested that for themselves so they're trying to manifest a way out of this um corrupt organization family take it as it resonates you did you found a way to get out of it where there's a will there's a way if somebody has a will they'll they'll let the tower fall somebody is in a rough way right now because of some kind of addictions and the fact that they're not speaking up about it that's what it is they're not learning the lessons they're not allowing their soul to grow they're not studying and, and, you know, doing being their own fact checker. King of Swords, Three of Cups, Five of Cups. Somebody is coming in with the truth. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. But you're not working with somebody. There is a third party who is trying to interfere in something. And it clearly puts somebody in that Five of Cups. The Devil in deck. Okay, guys? So, it could have been somebody from your family, right? Jafar. He killed his brother, right? Because of jealousy. He wanted to be king. Like, but you're not trustworthy. You have no discipline, you know? And then he got a bunch of hyenas to go after somebody. That's the three of cups, right? So somebody got a bunch of hyenas to come after you to keep somebody in this shoulda, coulda, woulda, maybe, oh, woe is me kind of energy because they didn't have enough courage to come and speak to you. Somebody knew. That if they kept pushing you away or was stuck on stupid on drugs or something, you would um, you would stay away from them. Somebody knows this. So they're trying to do some deep cellular healing to change their perspective, to release their dark wounds so that they can let you love them or they can love you. Take it as it resonates. Look, the Ten of Swords. See what I mean? This King of Swords is getting out of a mental entrapment. Purgatory, prison of the mind. Take it as it resonates. It's this rock bottom energy, guys. The sun does come out, but we have to, you know, light that bitch up ourselves, emperor. Now, you have a bossy independent contractor here. 
Okay, it could be an Aries, like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, take it as it resonates. Somebody worked with a whole group to try to coerce some kind of outcome, the devil. Okay, it is what it is. Now the devil is feeling left out. They can't get to you. Why? Because you have powered up. You powered through. You went on your fucking knees. You prayed for forgiveness. You prayed for redemption. Somebody else did. Look, it's the king of pentacles in the reverse. There was somebody who was very, very greedy, only wanted money, was only there for the superficial shit. And somebody sees somebody has a fucking lot of passion for you. A lot of passion. That's why a lot of people have been trying to work against you in some way, shape, or form. So that you wouldn't start a business, start, I don't know, love. You wouldn't get this relationship, this marriage. You would stay in some kind of, um, okay, so maybe all the people you've seen, all the all the, the relationships you've seen, all the marriages is based on, like I said, right, conditions. So it looks good on paper or whatever, but in the house, a big old fucking mess, right? So it's like a Monet. Looks good from afar, but you get all close and it gets all messy, right? <coughs> and somebody's trying to block your throat chakra or somebody else's so that they will stay confined in these outdated belief systems not question authority you need to start questioning authority guys because authority is fucked up their lies 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 so let's get some messages let's see what the t is guys what's the judgment new boo you got a new boo coming in guys you may have made some fucked up choices in the past, but you decided to have meaning for your life. Now you have a new interest. You're learning each other. You're about to flirt. Somebody may feel upset about this, but that's not your fucking problem. You need to put your head down, do what you need to do. You have an admirer who wants to bring in justice for you. Spiritual narcissist. But there is somebody who is trying to assassinate your character because they're a spiritual hater. It is what it is, guys. They're trying to manipulate a situation so that somebody doesn't bring in justice, but you're still powering through all adversities and bringing a tower to a lot of people who try to put you in a mental entrapment who are in a mental entrapment. You are waking people up. You're asking. You're making them ask questions. Okay. Cloud nine. Somebody was in an illusion. They want emotional fulfillment, but it's not in the best way. They feel like you're on cloud nine, like you can do anything, you can accomplish anything, you get what you want. But the thing is, is they don't understand what you're doing in the background, the work, the, the love, the compassion, the healing that you're absolutely doing. The thing is, is these people, they want this cloud nine energy. And the only time they're on cloud nine is when they're higher having sex and you're the empress. You don't deal with this trashed wow somebody rejected you they chew you out like trash they kick you to the curb empress because they thought you didn't have any money ten of pentacles your family said yes you had a, somebody had a lot of passion for you but they looked at you like the ten of pentacles in reverse like you had nothing to offer them so they chew you away like trash but you still managed to power through them create something beautiful for yourself and these people are so mad they lied on you because you're victory. You're getting victory and you bossed the fuck up. I already told you that. You bossed the fuck up. You have self-empowerment. You're independent. You're living your life to the best of your abilities and you're leading the pack. And that's why somebody's really fucked up because you're leading your whole fucking family into the promised land and they treated you like fucking shit. So at the end of the day, you ain't taking them with you. So they're on cloud nine trying to get high on their own supply. Oh, somebody's getting high off their own supply. They ain't making no money. Sorry, not sorry. See, ancestors are saying, sorry, not sorry. What you put out, you get back. Two of cups. It says, unremorseful, avoiding acceptance, neglecting responsibility. See, somebody wants a two of cups, but they're reflect, reg, neglecting responsibility. And you ain't dealing with this. Somebody just wants a booty call. And you don't deal with booty calls. You don't deal with one night stands. You're not at somebody's beck and fucking call. You ain't a pick me. Oh, somebody wants this sex sexual invitation. But it's only all about sex. That's why the two of cups, you want equilibrium, guys. This is probably why you walked the fuck away from them. Eight of cups. Because you knew somebody was hiding. They definitely weren't telling you the truth. And now they feel like these intense emotions are hard to deal with. Because they have been suppressing them for so fucking long. 
dealing with all these booty ass fucking calls while you're bossing up. See, somebody who do away like trash. They they were a spiritual narcissist. They won't they acted like you got everything and you had a new boo and that new boo bossed you up. And that's not fucking true. That's not true at all. That's why these fucking monkeys are fucking shocked. They're shocked because you walked away. There's a plot twist. Unexpected event. Sudden change, guys. Yeah. Throwing hands. Your, um, <sighs> there was a disagreement. Somebody was very hostile with you. Could have been a cancer. Could have been somebody who had a lot of love for you. But you hit different. You hit different. I'm telling you, that conflict, that fight, that hostility, that animosity put somebody in that ten of swords. They wanted you to be in the ten of swords. But you're not. It's them. And it's because they followed some kind of outdated belief systems. They're so-called elders. And now they're trying to send you an SOS. Somebody needs saving. Distract. Act on urgency. Assisted need Assistance needing. Four of Wands. This is your fucking twin flame, guys. They were really trying to, to uh, fill the void inside of them with sex and drugs and complacency is what it fucking comes down to and they found themselves or you found yourself in this whole process rebound somebody went towards a rebound gave that rebound everything they should have gave to you but that's okay because they're realizing that they manifested trash they treated you like trash they manifested trash it is what it is and you manifest the life of your dreams. That's why it's shock, right? Plot twist. That's why somebody is numbing out. I'm telling you, there is somebody who is using a lot of drugs to numb them out. They're self-medicating, drinking their problems away, distracting with substances. And this is why they're feeling like their spirit is not, is very disconnected. It's because they are. And it's because somebody is buttering somebody up to keep them very distracted so that they won't come towards you. Using charm, persuasion of, Gain and finesse, body shame. Wow, somebody body shamed you. Somebody uh, loved you, but body shamed you or listened to other people's body shame you. I don't know, guys. Low self-esteem, negative body image, and feeling judged. Now, somebody could have judged you because, like I said, that's how they feel about themselves. Somebody has a lot of insecure issues, and they look at you on like a pedestal, right? The empress. But there's an emperor here. You are made for somebody. You don't, I don't know if you know this person, if you've met them before, but somebody has been really distracted by booty calls and sex and somebody is telling this booty call, sorry, not sorry, not today. Like, see this booty call, this doppelganger, the third party, whoever this is, they're not sorry. And that's, they want to throw hands with you because somebody is, this family is pissed the fuck off because they keep watching you level the fuck up independently. I'm telling you, when that warrior gets on her motherfucking knees, his knees, that's when the war has just begun. See? Ancestors of protection. Hunter of death. Did I not just say this? Did I not just say this? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, okay, guys? It helps to generate the, ch the algorithm on the channel. And if it does resonate, hit the bell icon in the corner and you will get notified when I post new content. So protection and reflection. So you are reflecting and somebody is definitely reflecting to see that you got the protection. This is why you ain't bothered. You ain't phased. You know, you've been through it. You've went through it. You healed from it. This is why you ain't judging, but you're not going to be associated with situations that are going to bleed onto you. You're not fucking stupid. And somebody is saying, fuck everything because they can't have you. Wow. Fuck everything because there was a cock blocker. Somebody cock blocked you. A third party influence, failed sexual attempts. A lot of people are trying to get with you, but nobody can get with you because you're unavailable. You may be single, but you're unavailable. Mind, body, soul, you're not available. It is what it is. And people need to get used to that because you're the ancestor of boundaries. You put boundaries up. You're protecting. You're reflecting. You're sitting in your peace because you got the spirit of love. If it ain't love, you don't want it. It is what it is. And you'll know love. You, you know love when you see love. It is what it is. You know love when you feel it. Ancestors, I want one and trap. Look, somebody got trapped with your fucking family. Bottom of the deck, it's the illness in reverse. You're not sick. You're not sick. You didn't get sick. 
Somebody needs to get out of this trap because somebody around them is making them sick. So be careful of what you're eating and drinking from these Jezebel fucking energies because they want to keep you stuck and they will do anything. And I mean anything to keep you stuck. It says get out. I mean, I told you not to go into that house. In the upright... It says, take the advice from trusted friends. It helps to have an outside perspective. See? Perspective. Somebody should have took your advice. You bossed up because you eliminated yourself from the equation. <sighs> Illness in reverse. Illness, the Congo. Okay? It says, who let the monster out of the closet? So somebody is still stuck in a fucking closet is what it comes down to. Okay? And in reverse, it says... Is there an opportunity to help somebody else? Okay? So you're choosing to help somebody get out of this trap. You are not, wow, dream. Dream. You are helping somebody to dream. To see the bigger picture. To get out of the illusions. Nightmare on Elm Street says everybody has got a dream. And in the reverse, it says it's only a dream. So somebody is stuck. But if they're feeling like they, they, they can get out, it's only a dream. Okay? Somebody could be dreaming about you. The worst possible situations. But it's only a dream. It's only an illusion. Something is a fucking illusion and somebody is going to wake up from that. You have protected this person or these people from... You have protected this person who's crying. From all these fucking people. And that's why these people hated you. Because you saved somebody. You seen somebody needed help. You didn't have to be physically there to help them. You sent them the spirit of love. You prayed for somebody. You protected them. You reflected. Somebody's buttering somebody up. Their body shaming them. Making them feel like they're not good enough. They're never going to be good enough. So they're numbing the fuck out. And it's all cock blocking. This is why we need deep cellular healing, guys. We need to get out of this feeling of trapped. And how do you do that? By speaking your word into existence, releasing the dark new wounds. The shadow is the parts where people said they're not, that you, you, you're not good enough. You are good enough. Every part of you is fucking good enough. Number 19, last closing message. I don't know if I'll have enough time. But number 19, reduce it down to a 10. So when one door closes, another one opens, guys. Psychic developments, learning and studying. Your curiosity and psychic and spiritual matters are awakening. You have an urge to learn more. You may be already dabbling in occult matters. Likely people with similar skills will gather around you, but realize that